okay this is the way you do uh, the image with the uh, alpha channel uh, it's actually quite simple what you have to do is you have to open your image in Photoshop the one you want to use and uh, what you're gonna do is just gonna uh, I did save it as a TIFF file just to make it easier you're gonna select the selection tool and you're gonna have a precise selection around the image the part of the image that you want to do the alpha channel with in this case I'm gonna use her so using the, the Wacom tab tablet I just gonna create a selection around and uh, what I did I just created a, a feather selection for 100 uh, pixels and once you do that then you're gonna go uh, under select save selection you're gonna say is a uh, the, the file which is the that tip file new channel and you're gonna write alpha one new channel and just hit OK if you check on the channels you're gonna see that you have the alpha one right here so the next thing you have to do is very simple you have to save that file save as and you're gonna select as a tiff and you're gonna select the, the alpha channel and just save okay once you save this basically you're done with uh, the Photoshop I'm gonna move the, uh, the image out of the way. Now in uh, in Graphics Software, I'm gonna go to Organize. I'm gonna look for the image. I'm gonna import import picture, and you, you see here that it says Direct Import. You have three options. You're gonna choose the one that says Import Picture with Finish Channel. Then you're gonna look for the image, select it, and let Graphics Software import the image and get it ready for you. But it's funny is that you can see here it has the background, but if you see the actual image, you're gonna see that it has the uh, it doesn't have the background. It has it's just the, the feathering with the image I selected. I guess you have to play with your selection, how much feather and things like that, just to get it just perfectly right. But once the image is imported in Graphics Studio, you hit OK. And now, basically, what you do, what it's gonna do for you is on the uh, Im the selection itself which is the bride is gonna put a white background behind it so you can see the image and on the background which is a per the area I did not select uh, is gonna multiply it with your background so depending which uh, mat board you choose as a background uh, is the uh, multiply color is gonna take for example you use uh, a white paper or you use a uh, uh, photographic paper I don't think anything is gonna happen but we'll see so I'm gonna choose for example uh, a blue offset and I'm gonna just drag the image into the page and you can see already that the background is multiplied it's mixed the blue color with the actual color of the image so you're gonna have to you play with the uh, with the uh, matte that you're gonna use and the color of the background so it actually looks good but you can see is the background is multiplied with the matte if I change color you can see what I mean I'm gonna change it to gold and it's multiplied with gold see this gold is lighter this is multiplied so it's gonna be darker so it's mixing the, the color of the matte with the background of the image and multiply it with it if uh, let's choose a, a white paper see what happened and I suspect basically any nothing happened just is very close to the original one so it has to I think to work it has to be a color type uh, matted so it multiplies with it so I think for this image probably a gold uh, just me a gold uh, color is the one is gonna look the best uh, maybe a light brown it may look good so that's how it works. Hope it helps.